as you can see I've just exposed the board to the UV light um, I've got a certain technique of doing that and that's something I just want to keep secret for now um, you know that's a quite a tricky little method and they uh, you know I do like to keep some secrets but uh, there's the board which has been exposed to UV and I've just chucked it in the uh, developing solution there As you can see, I'm pointing out where the uh, sticker for the barcode for this particular, uh, excuse me, etch board. Um, this had actually had a plastic coating on it and a sticker on top of the plastic coating. However, the glue seems to have seeped through the plastic coating um, and probably where it's been exposed to a little bit of sun as well and perhaps the heat as well. And it just made that particular part of the board just a fraction more um, more sticky than the rest of the board. So I had a little bit of trouble um, getting that part to develop. Um, as evenly as the rest of the board but ho-hum um, I cracked on and uh, you know it came around in the end you'll see at the uh, the very last part of the video you'll see a board that I had to uh, yeah, convert by using this side to the other side um, so it could make a copper clad side from the already exposed side after stripping all the, uh, the exposure off the photo resist um, yeah quite an important solution is the wash solution um, just quickly washing it over my makeshift bin here um, just to stop the developer from doing any further etching on the board if you leave the uh, developer on there too long it will actually etch away everything and you'll just be left with a copper board and it's you know, completely useless um, if it is a double sided board then you've got you know you may be if you've got a big ground plane on one side then you might just be able to swing it around and, uh, and use the other side if not you know the board is good for the bin it's a chucker so you know very important to uh, get that board washed off really really quickly and stop the developing as quickly as possible it's just a simple very very weak um, ferro liquid solution and with lots of water just to get that washed off yeah again after another wash uh, under clean water now and then straight into the uh, etchant solution um, my etcher uh, bust actually and um, I had to make do with this pizza tray for a couple of weeks while I was making some boards up and as you can see in the middle of the board there is still a piece that's undeveloped but the uh, the pizza tray, um, sorry the pasta tray worked a lot better than the actual etch board, uh, tank so um, because it's thin of plastic it didn't take so long to warm up and whatever so uh, yeah so the old pasta tray on top of a uh, on top of the radio works really really well um, far better than I thought, it is quite a strong solution and it etched in really really quick time um, yeah so uh, pretty good stuff good save and now we come on to the next part which is the all important um, tin solution. Um, if you're not going to use a tin solution, then after you've uh, soldered on your components and whatever, you you know you really should get a good lacquer on there. Otherwise, the board starts going very dark and oxidising. But um, this tin solution is really really expensive. Um, you know, you get about two teaspoons of the solution, uh, two teaspoons of the granule, should I say, and you have to make up about a litre of the solution. It's phenomenally expensive, about twenty quid. Um, but you know, if, if you're into electronics, then that you know spread that over a cost of say five or ten boards, and um, it only works out like a quid or something, or two quid for two, say ten boards. Um, I've made about twenty boards, so it works out about a quid a board, which isn't too bad. But, um, and it is very, very irritant as well, um, and quite toxic. So you know, gloves, wash your hands if you know if you uh, um, handle it with sticks here, um, but don't get it on your hands. Really, really itchy, and uh, certainly don't get it ingested because you really will be sorry with plenty of and it can be uh, irreversible damage there so you know, handle with care and as you probably can much be able to see on the back of the uh, the, uh, the copper clad side you can probably see just a very faint outline of the, um, the exposed side what I exposed earlier because for the very first time around that these the sticker just would not go away where the sticker was it just left a massive patch of uh, undeveloped board and it stripped the rest of the photo resist off so you know I had to use sticky tape to uh, go over the back of the board and uh, carry on working with the other side all good and 
here we are. There's the board fully coated in tin solution after about 15 to 20 minutes. Long as leave it in, and they can coat it. So uh, again, all good stuff. Just ready to drill. Nice thick coating on there. And here we are. Though I've, I've sort of uh, it's only just a standard pillar drill with about a 0.7 millimeter. Uh, to 0.8 millimeter of um, drill bit there, and um, and then using an oversized drill bit. Once they find the holes are drilled, use an oversized drill bit to uh, go ahead and drill um, out the back, so that you you don't get any components that are grounding through the holes. And uh, that would be disastrous. So you just use a simple oversized drill bit. Once you drill, drill all your little fine holes on one side, flip the board over, and then use the holes as a guide for taking out the rest of the uh, space with the, uh, an oversized drill. See, um, one one thing I would say, this is a good tip, is to um, really should do the tin solution is the last thing you should really do for the simple reason is after you've drilled, you're going to get um, raised up parts of the copper, and um, you really want to be able to rub those down with a nice polishing block or something, and um, you know that leaves a good surface, and then you can then go ahead and uh, coat with your tin solution. Um, if you do it the other way around, which I've done, um, then what you end up doing is rubbing your tin solution away. And you have to end up retinning the whole lot. So, uh, so remember, after you've uh, got your last edge done, um, wash the board, rub it down, and then uh, then you can coat it. And as you can see, there's the uh, the result of the barcode sticker, which really screwed up the board. Couldn't get that to uh, develop at all. It just sat there, and uh, you know it's pretty unhappy stuff. That so, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of time went into it, and it sort of just was pointless. The glue had somehow seeped through the board and then into the uh, photoresist underneath. Thanks for watching.